stay through. Now, there is only one Mini GP 110 in this, and of course that is Brooke Champion. Um, of course, she's the only one in her class in this one. So I think she's got this settled and done with. Uh, she's doing well. Uh, but uh, new fastest lap of the race, 57.42 from Daniel Stevenson, your race leader. So again, he's uh, flying through. Uh, Luca Wilkinson not getting into the 57s yet. He's got a 58.1 compared to George Browns and Joe Mazamosica. They're both in the 57s. 57.99 and a 57.92. Uh, from those two so uh, they're potentially maybe catch up onto the back of Wilkinson if they can slot into a position not battle each other too much and, uh, and, and waste time yeah we are looking at or we were looking at the battle behind Brooke Champion there we've moved on now oh, no, we are back to Champion Bartle Cooper and Newton and of course uh, these four riders in two different yeah, classes through and out of the hook. Yeah, so this is the uh, battle further down. So uh, there is Brooke Champion. And then it's uh, Newton and Charlie and Ollie Pearson. Uh, they're doing very well now. So uh, Jack in 11th, uh, Charlie in 12th, Ollie in 13th. As they go through. So they are having a good little scrap there under braking. And uh, out of the final chicane. Doing well, keeping it nice and clean between the two. Of course, uh, probably not something you want to do is to accidentally uh, collide with your brother. So I'm sure they're giving each other plenty of space. That's the kind of rule number one in motorsport: is don't take out your teammate. Uh, Certainly not so your family members, and you're sure in a lift home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, that'd be a very awkward lift home, I could imagine. So that'd be a one in the front, one in the back job, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, uh, again, Brooke Champion under pressure slightly from uh, Jack Newton there. And of course, on two different bikes. As we go back down into the final corner. Dan Stevenson leads from the first lap. Now up into second place goes George Bowes. Joe Mostaker. Oh, and there's a third. rider down in the final hairpin. So I can't quite see uh, what the bike is. The rider's up on their feet, though. Uh, at the edge of the circuit. It might be Wilkinson. I think it's Wilkinson. Is it Wilkinson? It's Luca Wilkinson. He's the only one who's not come through timing, and it's yeah. his blue bike. So, there we go. And this is a battle further down the order. For seventh place, this is Charlie Pearson, the first of the Pearsons. He's doing very well. It's Charlie up in seventh place. He is indeed one of the newer riders. So all the new riders seem to be in a one big group, don't they, in the middle pack. So uh, they're all going, uh, all going well. Yep, you can see the new riders by the luminous jackets that they're wearing out on track. If in case you were wondering why uh, they're all there, it's certainly not for struggling to see them. It's a lovely day here in Wales, as it always is in Wales, I promise you. <laughs> I've had bad weather days in Wales. That's a lie. <laughs> I'm in a very different part of Wales, though. Lies don't make you cool, Anthony. <laughs> It rains in Wales. Just admit it. <laughs> Four laps to go. Uh, Daniel Stevens still in the way. 1.5 seconds that gap's opened up now to uh, George Bowles. So uh, struggling to keep up that pace. And uh, as the rest of these guys go through, it's still Hudson Cooper there on the 217. Going in a little bit too quick into the entry of that corner. Uh, just taking, trying to carry a little bit too much speed. Um, but uh, managing to uh, keep it up. Fantastic upright. race from these uh, riders. And of course, we'll be going in to. Uh, oh, we'll be going into the Parker Racing Stock 140s next, and it will be race uh, B first. The rest of the uh, riders go through. 